guys, how's it going? Today we're gonna harvest some carrots. So the carrots that we planted in this raised bed last spring. I can't believe they've been in here for almost a year. So depending on what we find, because they have been subjected to temperatures down to negative 6.3 degrees, they were covered with snow at that time. Uh, but depending on what we find, I'm hoping to take the salvageable ones into the kitchen and we'll process them. We'll grate them and get them into freezer bags so that we can use them up. We'll give the chicken some. And I think Benjamin is hoping that we can bake a carrot cake as well. Oh my word. <laughs> so the tops aren't looking the best. And if you get in here, you can see that most of them, like. They're not gonna be tender carrots, but I think they will be just fine if we grate them up. Look at this. Like that's a beautiful carrot right there. And some of them though, like this one right here, kind of starting to rot there. The bottom part of it's fine though, so we could cut that off and grate that, or we could just give this type to the chickens. This one was the most exposed it looks like. So yeah, we're just gonna find kind of a menagerie of different carrots, <laughs> colors, sizes, and uh, different levels of firmness. This one is nice and firm. This one, you know, is all squishy. Look at this. Dang, that's a big beast. Oh, and there's a little cute one right there. It, isn't that wild that you can harvest these things a year later? Not at peak, but still in a way that you can eat them and use them up. Ooh, that one's soft. Oh my, listen to this. Oh. My word. I just love that about this crop, about how uh, forgiving it is if you don't get them all harvested or if you want to just leave something in the ground. I mean, you can come out here as long as you can get to the carrots like underneath snow. Most of the time you can get them up out of the ground and you can use them throughout the winter. And the more cold they're subjected to, the more their sugars condense and the sweeter they get. So they're actually quite delicious, even though it's not the type of carrot you just pull out and then eat fresh. This type of carrot is really good grated or roasted or put in a soup, something that you can blend. So here's what we've got for supplies. I'm just gonna put the tops in here and then I've got some baskets for the carrots and I've got a digging fork if we need it. And it's kind of drizzly today. We've had a couple of days like that in a row, which is great. Almost all the snow is gone. So it's really feeling awesome to be out here. So let's get our harvest done and see what we see what we end up with. Mm. Smells amazing. like it's gonna walk away. 
take off. Oh my. What the heck is this? Huh. Hey, bud. Hey. Oh, my. I know. Can I pick with you? Yes, absolutely. There's a couple right here. Oh, I'm gonna try picking them up. Oh, there's another one in there. Oh, that's Let a big one. Whoa! You caught a worm. A worm. Yep. Can I have it? Should I put it back in the soil? Sure. Yeah, I would love you for it. Perfect. Good job. I think I can pick. Oh yeah. This one's kind of squishy. Oh, sorry. That's okay, it likes to be under there. Oh, hi Russell. Good morning. I don't want to try the pick. Oh, I see some good ones over here. Um, maybe not these. They found a one worm. They found a worm. That's a carrot. That's one carrot. <laughs> I see one. Um, I might have to be on this side. Oh, those mice! Yeah, well, yeah, it's wet out here. You can come in right here. I'm gonna pull this one. Okay. Is that one good? To eat? Uh, oof! Good job. Oh, Ooh, look at this one. Ew. Is that one bad? It's all hollowed out. Chickens can have that one. So let me get the digging fork and I will loosen that up for you. Yes! Yes! Oh! I see a bug! Is that a hard one, baby? Yeah. Are you gonna get it? Yeah. Okay. Uh. Whoa. Whoa! Okay, I think that's it, you kids. Okay, here's the raised bed. All cleared out. And here is our usable harvest. Isn't that amazing? I mean, we got a lot of kind of weird shaped carrots, great big carrots, but there's some normal ones in there too. I'm gonna to take them inside now, clean them up. We'll line them up on the counter so we can get a better look. And then we'll start the process of getting them all graded up. Well, this is pretty amazing for a February carrot harvest. Look at these. I mean, they're not the most perfect or beautiful carrots, but Samantha's already snacked on two of them. She said they're delicious. I'll just trust her on that. And right over here is our basket of peels. I did go ahead and peel them because there were a lot of like uh, roots that were coming out and just imperfections. And you know, the peel after they've been in the ground for so long can be a little bit more tough. And then all of our tops. And we'll take this out to the chickens later. I got my food processor out. This is the first time I've ever used the grater in here. So I'm excited. I don't, not all of them are gonna fit down through the hole, but we'll get it all figured out. I might have to cut them up in smaller pieces, but we're gonna get them all grated up and Benjamin's gonna help me with that. And then we can work on our baking project.
this is so amazing. Oh my goodness, and we still have all of these. So great, I'm gonna have to cut these into smaller pieces though, because <laughs> this thing is not fitting through that hole. Nope, <laughs> it's not gonna happen. Tear it down, okay? Put your next piece, ooh, next piece in, like that. Okay. This one might be a little harder. Push it down, like that. Get your piece ready. Here you go, like this one. Stick it in there, I'll hold on to this. Okay. Okay, pull that out. Okay. Next cool. piece. That's there. fun. Oh, look at how full that is. Okay, now hit the on button. Got it. Nice. Got it. Ooh. Ooh, <laughs> it was going to fling right back out. So here's what we ended up with, two huge bowls of grated carrot, and they smell so good. They are so bright and just the perfect texture. Look at this. So the carrot cake we're gonna make, we're gonna do it in eight inch round pans, and I've got all of the ingredients out here. We've got brown sugar eggs, baking soda, vanilla, salt, oil, brown sugar, granulated sugar and flour. And of course our carrots, which we will need three cups of uh, for this recipe. This bowl is actually going to go home with Erin's sister, Alyssa. She's going to freeze all of this. And I don't think I mentioned what varieties we harvested today. There was four different varieties, one of which I decided to put completely in the chicken basket, and that was the Atomic Red, which, you know, it was a new one to me last year. I thought it would be fun to try. I didn't really care for it all that much. I felt like it got uh, woody pretty early and then Today when I cut into one of them, like they felt firm enough, uh, but it had a really weird smell and it looked very dry and kind of woody. So I decided those wouldn't be worth it. The other three varieties were the Danvers Half Longs and Nanties, which are two of my all time favorite varieties that I've grown. I usually grow one or both of those every single year. And then we got one of those freebie packets of seeds with one of our seed orders and they were St. Valerie carrots and they were amazing. I really, really like those. So anyway, those are the three varieties that we have a mix of in this bowl. And the recipe we're working off of is inspiredtaste.net is the website. So we'll try to remember that down below. And it's just called, go to the top here, incredibly moist and easy carrot cake. <laughs> so that's perfect. Uh, it does call for nuts and raisins in the batter, which I don't like in carrot cake. So we're going to omit that. Uh, but we will put pecans in the frosting, in the cream cheese frosting. So anyway, I'm gonna get Benjamin in here. He's super excited about this. We're just gonna mix it up and get it in the oven. In the meantime, I'm gonna have to go while it's baking and run to the store and get some cream cheese. I thought I had some and I don't. So anyway, that's the order of the rest of today's projects. Okay, first thing we need to do, kiddos, two cups of flour into this bowl, okay? I want to. You'll get each get to do one, okay? <laughs> so here we go, pour it into the bowl. There you go. Okay, pour that in. Ooh, okay, that was two cups of flour. Did you pour it all in there? It all went in, bud? Mm -hmm. Okay. So now we need one and a half teaspoons. We'll need one of each of yours. <laughs> it calls for one and a half teaspoons. We'll put, probably put about three <laughs> teaspoons. Okay, pour that one in. One, yes you can. Oh yeah, you can scoop it up. Just do a good scoop. Oh, good job. Here, Samantha, here's a piece for you. You can try eating it. <laughs> and then we're gonna do one and a quarter cups of oil. There we go. One teaspoon of vanilla. Benjamin, hold that teaspoon over the bowl. Okay, perfect. 
Perfect. Crack it into that bowl. Okay, so there's one. Samantha, you do yours into a bowl. Put your, yes! Good job! You did great! No, sh no shells. Perfect. Okay, Benjamin, it's your turn. Good job! Yay! Thank you, Ma. You're welcome. No. You did a great job. Okay, three cups of carrots like this, okay? So there's one. Benjamin, you do one, and then Samantha, you can do one. Okay, you did one, bud. So let Samantha, two. you did two cups? One. Okay. Samantha, we need one more cup of carrots. Okay, now dump it in. <laughs> one more. Okay, I'm gonna put the lid on. <laughs> Yummy. Mmm, baby, that's gonna be so good. So now we need to divide it between these two evenly, and I'll do that part, sweetheart. Okay, 350 degrees for 35 to 45 minutes. That's if you put them in a nine inch cake pan, but I don't have two nine inch cake pans. So we're doing them in an eight inch cake pan, so we'll have to just test them uh, at about the 35 mark is when I'll start looking at them, see if they're done. Okay, it is the next day. The cakes are clearly cooled. We're gonna make our frosting. Mmm, it smells good. And then I think we're gonna take it down to the garden center so Nana and Papa can try it. Okay, so first thing we need to do is get these cakes out. Oh, it smells amazing. Oh yeah, it smells like chocolate cake right now. Kinda does smell like chocolate cake, doesn't it? So we've got that layer. I used parchment paper rounds. One of you guys sent me out the eight inch cake pans plus a package of these parchment rounds a while ago and I'm, I'm almost out and I just absolutely love them. So whoever did that, thank you. We'll put this to the side. We're gonna need powdered sugar, cream cheese. You want powdered sugar? That's powdered sugar. And we have the cream cheese, we have heavy cream and we need, do we need vanilla? We need, that's it. We're gonna put one and a half cups of powdered sugar. We need to put heavy cream in. Heavy cream in. You can be in charge of the pecans. Okay, hold that over the bowl, dude. I'll try the not Really level and no. pour. Oh, you got some on your phone. I know, I did. Okay, I plugged these in. Your fault. Yeah, it was. Let me do the end. Thank you, baby. In just one moment, let me get the bulk of the powdered sugar <laughs> incorporated. Mm. Yum, yum, yum. Mm. Okay, that's great. Thank you, bud. Now look at this. Push that button. Push it hard. It releases these. So here's what we do first, kiddos. That's the top layer. So what we're going to do... It's going to be two layers. Yep. We're going to have a double layer cake. I'm packing it. Oh, are you? They like to know what's going on. You're good at communicating, aren't you? Me the, um, you can take the plastic off. Okay. I don't have to do this. Yeah, you can sprinkle those on. All right, bud. We are going to put the top on right now. Put it on. Uh, it's kind of a tender process, bud, but I would love for you yeah. to put some frosting on the top, just very gently, okay? I have a good job for you, Benjamin. How about you film us? You film us close up, okay? This is a cake. There's frosting on the bottom. I wanted to help you with this. Oh, careful, and, sweetie. And there's Samantha right there. <laughs> <laughs> Sprinkle them over the top. Um, let me move it closer to you, sweetie. Oh, that's looking good. Great job. Okay. <gasps> wow, look at how beautiful. See you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye. All right, guys, there it is. I had to kind of make a decision there. I should have doubled the frosting recipe, but it's kind of pretty to have the layers exposed. And honestly, I kind of like a little less frosting. So I think it's perfect. You guys did a great job. A pancake. Oh. A pancake? Oh. <laughs> Let's take a look. Okay, so what we should probably oh, oh, Samantha, be careful. I love the plate. It's a double layer. It's beautiful. Yeah. You know what we need to do? We need to smell it first. 
<laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> yeah. <Boom. laughs> All right, let's cut into that. See how it tastes. Mm. I see that cake. It looks beautiful. Ooh, look. Oh, it's so pretty. <gasps> yeah. And these are out of those uh out of the carrots out of carrots. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Mm. 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 Cream cheese frosting. Mm. Yeah, I know. Isn't that the best? I, I love. Mm. <laughs> Yum. Mm. It's so moist. What do you think, Benjamin? Take a bite. I haven't took a bite yet. There you go. Mm. 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 Is it good? <laughs> good. She loves it. That's so good. Mm. What recipe did you use? The first one that came up on my internet search. <laughs> mm, so good. Mm. Inspiredtaste.net. Mm. All right, guys. So we are just going to enjoy our carrot cake now. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. It passed the taste test, so that's good. We'll try to remember to link it down below. Wait, wait. Uh, oh, before, before, bye. Okay. Uh. <laughs> See you guys in the next video. <laughs> bye. P.S. Here's a close-up look at the cake. It's so delicious and it did cook all the way through, even in the center. And I definitely recommend adding that extra cinnamon. Okay.